Yet another Navy vessel got buzzed by a UFO off the coast of California. This and more coming up on The Edge. my fellow connoisseurs of all things strange, mysterious, and edgy. I'm Jay Jordan Hawk, and you're watching On the Edge. It looks like filmmaker and apparent agent of UFO disclosure, Jeremy Corbell, is at it again. Recall in the last episode of On the Edge, I showed Corbell's release of the so-called pyramid UFOs flying above the USS Russell in July of 2019 off the coast of California. Corbell was slammed by skeptics for that video. Skeptics like Mick West, who declared the pyramid videos are simply out-of-focus footage of an airplane. But Corbell has now released footage taken at night by Navy personnel inside the Combat Information Center on board the USS Omaha, also traveling off the coast of California, west of San Diego, on July 15, 2019, at approximately 11 p.m., about the same time as the pyramid UFOs. The footage seen here is taken by a thermal camera. Since it is about 11 o'clock at night, you can hear the Navy personnel commenting on the wind speed of 31 knots and that suddenly the six-foot orb disappears seemingly into the ocean as the Navy personnel shout, whoa, it splashed. If so, then this is what is known as a transmedium UFO as it travels just as easily in multiple mediums. Pentagon spokesperson Suzanne Goff confirmed the leaked footage. I can confirm that the video was taken by Navy personnel and that the UAP task force included it in their ongoing examinations. Subsequent efforts by some Marines to find wreckage came up with nothing. Corbell further added to the mystery by pointing out that this object had traveled alongside the USS Omaha for one hour before vanishing into the ocean, and there was no evidence of where it actually came from, rather it just appeared. Corbell further pointed out that there was a minimum of 14 such objects buzzing the Omaha. These were unlikely drones, as they would have had a difficult time handling 31 knots for one hour without having to recharge, Corbell pointed out. Mick West, this show's favorite retired video game programmer turned professional debunker, seems to be having a difficult time with this one. First, he decided it was a balloon, he wrote. To me, this seems consistent with number one weather or other scientific balloon with a suspended payload. When the payload hits the ocean, that will make it bob around a bit. Then the high winds will rip the balloon, causing it to burst and sink. Then he decided it was a flare. It's possible it could be a number two heat source, like a flare that appears larger due to glare. Then he decided it was something even more ridiculous. The speed at which it descends almost makes me think of a planet setting. Seems silly, but let's add it to the list. Yes, Mr. West, let's add that to the list. But at the top of the list, let's include the fact that this planet followed the USS Omaha for one hour along with 14 other orbs before vanishing seemingly into the ocean and that the Navy then sent a submarine after it. Those Navy personnel need to go top deck every once in a while. Apparently, they've never seen planets before. Meanwhile, back to reality, CBS News just reported... Former Navy Lieutenant Ryan Graves says he and other members of his F.A. 18 fighter squadron detected strange, maneuverable, and unidentified objects flying in the restricted airspace southeast of Virginia Beach nearly every day for two years beginning in 2015. The sightings were so common, he says, pilots and their crews began to take them for granted. Graves is calling those objects a threat to security in a 60-minute interview. Said Graves, I'm worried, frankly. You know, if these were tactical jets from another country that were hanging out up there, it would be a massive issue, Graves tells Bill Whitaker in an interview airing Sunday, May 16th on 60 Minutes. But because it looks slightly different, we're not willing to actually look at the problem in the face. We're happy to just ignore the fact that these are out there watching us every day. Well, Mr. West, you better get to work on those grave sightings. That's two years' worth of UFOs you need to debunk. Surely most of them are just planets and flares, so you should be pretty much able to explain them all. And don't forget to mention swamp gas while you're at it. I have faith in you, Mr. West. In the meantime, I think I'm going to start following Jeremy Corbell on Twitter. Oh, don't worry, Mr. West. I'm still going to follow you as well. That's our story for today, everyone. See you next time. On the Edge. And if you like my content, be sure to check out my award-winning young adult novels, including Puka is the Outcast, A Scout is Brave, 
and Unwatchagi, the Dreamer, 